Our, the, our churches have been infiltrated by Zionists. Our government has been infiltrated by the Sabarians. And our cities have been infiltrated by madness. They want our heads. They want our silence. And this is our response in Christian resistance. We are a select few of Christian soldiers. And we need to know, are you down? And now, for the minister, they call Super Soldier. You know, this world didn't have anything for my Lord, and it doesn't have anything for me. Let me read you this. <clears throat> Matthew 4, 4, 8. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this will I give to you, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. You know, he took Jesus to a high mountain, and I don't know if you've ever been to the foothills and you look down on the city at nighttime and you see all the lights. And I imagine that's what Jesus saw when he looked down on the city. Everything that the world had to offer, all the bling bling. Okay? The dancing women, the gambling, all the nice shiny things that the world has to offer that's supposed to bring you some kind of joy in your life. And you know what? With everything that this world had to offer, it didn't have nothing for Jesus. He overcame the world. And as a servant, it has nothing for me. What could this world possibly offer me when as a servant, I hold the keys to the kingdom? What shiny thing, what dancing women, um, anything that the... Uh, 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 what do you, what does this world have to offer me? Uh, line up my nose, a needle in my vein. <laughs> I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to sell Jesus out for that. Are you kidding me? The world had nothing to offer him. The world has nothing to offer me. And let me tell you more specifically, the world has nothing to offer you. As a servant, we have complete, Total access. Total access. And everything this world has to offer is just takes. I'm not going to bow down and worship the things of this world. It's all a monkey trap. And so this is how I heard it explained to me. A monkey trap. Was a monkey trap is a coconut that they would cut a, cut a hole in. This coconut, a small hole. And they'd anchor this coconut to a tree. And then they'd put something shiny like a bobble. Like a, like a toy watch or a, a fake watch or a, a fake ring or something, you know. And when they would look inside this, they'd see it and they'd put their hand in there and then they'd grab it and then their hand couldn't come out of that hole anymore because they had their hand in a fist. That's what drugs is. And you see, then the trapper, the hunter, would just come and just pick up the monkey. And it was theirs. The monkey didn't realize. If they would just let it go, they'd be able to slip their hand out. And that's the same thing drugs is. That's the same thing every single thing that this world has to offer is. It's a monkey trap. And that's what addiction is. If you just learn to let it go. If you could just learn to let it go. I know in your head you think, oh, it can, I can't do it. But you can. You can. He paid a terrible price when he hung up on the cross. And his blood came streaming down. So your victory could come streaming down. 
It's all fake joy. It's never going to satisfy you. The drugs will never satisfy. It'll end up taking your life at the very end. And it's just a monkey trap. If you could just learn to let it go. Are you really happy? Have lost everything? For drugs? You know, in the... Living out in the street, um, in the summertime you're hot, in the in the wintertime you're cold, have, have, have lost everything. God has so much better for than that for you. It's just a monkey trap. Just let it go. I'm not going to sell out for a, a, a joint. Some can of beer? Not nah, chale. Not for that. Not for anything. What could this world possibly offer me when I hold the kingdom, the keys to the kingdom? When I have a friend in Jesus? I can't turn my back against him. He's everything I have. He's everything I have. I remember at my lowest, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no family. I had absolutely nothing. And I called out to God and said, God, you know what? I'm at my lowest. I don't have anything but you. I don't have anything but you. You're the only thing I have. And you know what? God said, now I could work with you. Because for too many years, my focus was on other things. But now that I realize that I didn't have anything, that's when Jesus was able to come in and do a work in me. And let me tell you, until you realize that you don't have nothing but Jesus, then he's able to come in and do a work in you. This addiction life is no life. It's no life at all. It's all a monkey trap. If you could just learn to let it go. Just learn to let it go. He'll give you the strength you need. He'll give you the strength you need. And I'll be there for you every step of the way. Hang in there.